Hey y'all, it's your boy Scout back at you. Coming at you from uh, CannabisSimplified.com. Okay. Um, hope everybody's doing well today, tonight, wherever you're at. Um, whomever you are. Okay. We're coming back to the fish hydrolysate. I said I was going to the kitchen for a minute. Well, you can tell it's been more than a minute. Okay. So I went ahead and just mixed it up. Set it in the, in the container. Covered it. Dated it. Put it to the side, so the date on it. I just all I did from the last video was mixed it up. All right, the date on it is 120. Okay, so you can see this stuff, it's pretty gnarly. It's brown on top. You know how to see it, man. It's brown on top. See that? Then there's a layer, looks like yellow, then it's black on the bottom. That's the one be the molasses on the bottom. Alright, I inoculated this right here. I had to use the uh, the, the, the juice off sauerkraut. We use Pig Shake, which is a Japanese for Anyway, it's fermented, it's fermented in lack of bacillus. So that's what I used on it. Um, it should be bubbling by now. It should be giving us a little love. But it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and add the lacto over here that's done. Remember, simplify. All day. All right, here's the lacto that's done. You can see that. You can see where it's split up. There's the curd. There's the whey. Whey's still coming down, but it's been long enough. She's right, ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw some more of that into here, just to get a little bit more love and see what's going on. Because I expect more to be happening in here as far as like bubbling that kind of thing. All right, so. That's it on this. I just wanted to, to go over this, okay? Deal is on it, it's, you know, poor liquefied fish, you know, pour the liquefied fish, the sugar and the lacto into a container to ferment, cover with the cheese cloth, okay? It's two tablespoons of lacto per liter, two weeks to a month is how long it's gonna take, okay? So you need two tablespoons of lacto per liter of this. Okay, that's your lactobacillus. It's right here. Not this, but right here. That's your lacto, okay? You need two liters, or two tablespoons, I'm sorry, per liter, okay? Um, and, and then it's made. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean this off right quick, put that in another video, keep the time short. And then I'm going to go ahead and inoculate this, all right? And what the deal is going to be is, like I said, two weeks to a month. So we're going to put this outside because it's going, it's going, it's going to be right. I'm here to tell you. Um, the old lady would not let you keep it in the house. Trust me. All right. But, but think about, you know, what you have in your area. If you've got raccoons, possum, feral cats, whatever the case may be. So my advice is to, with this, I'm going to add some more water onto it because she's thick as, as it can be. And then put the lacto in it. Try to use the sauerkraut juice that they said you could use. I don't think it's working right. So I'm gonna show it back to you again when we get done. It's supposed to be liquefying this. And you can see it's it's jumping up there, but all this up here, that's solid. Right there, that should already be working on that. So I'm gonna put the good stuff in here and see what happens with it. I'm gonna come back to you with that. All right, but other than that, like I said, keep it, keep it in a tight container. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put this into like a trash can with, with this top, that, that lock. All right, because every animal, critter, whatever, within a mile radius is going to smell this because it's going to smell that bad. Don't put it close to the house or you'll be moving it anyway. So, and then after that, it's going to get like a, it, like a, you go know, from straight rank to like, like a vinegary smell. Um, you know, if it smells like vinegar, then it's, it's ready to go. Okay, so then you'll know what, what the deal is at that time and then it's, it's done. Um, again, we're going to hit you out. You inoculate your compost with this. I mean, it's like putting, you know, fire, gas on a fire for your compost heat, okay? Um, for your plants, you know, you want to add it to your water, all right? Um, it populates the microorganisms in the soil, all right? Big time. All right, don't use it as a foil spray, okay? If you're going to do anything, do a little dredge on the plants, then it'll be fine, all right? Alright guys, that's it for this right now, and I'd like to say thanks, and you take it easy, remember, it's CannabisSimplified.com, come and see us, and like us, and please subscribe, it don't cost y'all a dime, 
let's work this out. Let's bring this back organic. Let's take this medicine where it needs to go. All right. I love you guys.